We're going to go ahead and try the bobas. So let's, so shake. let's shake it up. Today we have a star-studded guest. Uh, we're going to do a review. I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We have a good three videos up. And without further ado, who do I have here today? Kennedy. How old are you, Kennedy? Six. Six? And why didn't you tell Uncle you wanted to do your YouTube video? Yeah. Well, guess what? We're going to start today. Yeah. Okay? And you're going to help E Nana and, and Uncle do what? Shake, okay. Okay, so the boba that we're gonna try is a highly recommended um, a place that was recommended by our, our cousins. So this is Goncha. So we're gonna go ahead and try the bobas. So let's, so shake. let's shake it up. All right, so let's, let's, I'll tell you what flavor I got. I got uh, the Panda Milk Tea. You got the panda milk tea too. Yeah. What yeah. do you got, Susanna? I got the Earl Grey with the 3J. Uh -huh. I don't know what the heck 3J is. And then we also got another one that was recommended to us. It's the brown sugar milk tea. With the jelly. Okay, let's, All right. let's give it a try. Get your straw. And uh, this is a biodegradable straw. It feels like plastic, but eventually, uh, if uh, it, I guess it stays in wet too long, it's probably just going to melt away eventually yeah. harder oh okay there you go i'll try it not that bad okay this is, this is the panda that i tried first so the panda milk tea yeah okay what do you give it can we get a knife Describe oh. the taste and then what do you get? We're gonna rate it. Hold on, let me try it one more time. Mm. Very interesting. Surprisingly really? interesting. Um my first impression when I first took a sip, it mm -hmm. was sweet. It was really sweet. Mm. I mean, my sweet tolerance is very I guess sensitive, mm -hmm. so I prefer things a, a whole lot less sweet. Mm -hmm. But it's okay; it's still refreshing. Still, I could still manage to drink this. Um, the filling, there's something in here besides boba. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like this Asian dry fruit um, kind of thing. There's that something is, yeah going on in there that's not boba. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But it, it, it looks like it, but but it's still good. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So I have I have two other ones to try. Okay, go. So I have the Earl the Earl Grey with the three J. So let me try this one. I like mine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright. Try the You wanna try it? No. Try mm. that. Okay, and we got this one, the brown sugar milk tea. Let me shake this one up, too. Shake it out real good. Because my sugar is in the bottom. Okay, KK, you want me to help me poke the straw? Uh-huh. No. You got to hold it close like this. Lower. Lower. Mm -hmm. And then, there you go. There you go. So how did you like your tea, KK? Good. Is it good? Yeah. Five stars. Five being the best. What do you give it? Uh, uh, four. Four. Wow. Okay. Closer to my spot. So this brown sugar is pretty sweet too. Good sweet or bad sweet? What? Um, it's not heavy, but it, for me, it's sweet. It's sweet. I, I think uh, they. I don't know. They didn't. I don't. I'm not 100% sure if we can modify the, the amount of sweetness we can put in there. Mm -hmm. uh, when we placed the order for it, the guy didn't ask us. Yeah. So I, I'm not but really But everything sure. came 50%, at least I saw. On the receipt, it did say 50% sugar. 
but then again not really but here's here's the thing the overall it tastes really good overall out of the gate even though i didn't ask him or he didn't ask me how much sugar i wanted it still tastes really good yeah really good mines have a ref it, 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 it's not creamy it's not thick it actually tastes really good really refreshing mm -hmm. really refreshing yeah yeah so if i had to rate mine my boba came out of my mouth. If I have to rate mine, I give it five stars. And I'm going to give the Goncha Panda Milk Tea the rock star star of approval. That means, if you guys are just tuning in, if we give it the rock star approval, if you go there, you're not going to be mad. It's going to taste good out of the gate. I'm actually pretty shocked how good it is. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm not even mad at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, for me, uh, I got to try all three different ones. So, rate, rate, rate it. Um, each one? Yeah. Okay. From this one, that one. From and, and tell us what you like or dislike about it. So, the brown sugar, uh, what's that, milk tea? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Just to be fair, let me try it again. So this brown sugar milk tea doesn't come with any add-ons. I had to add it on. Tasty. Whereas the other two drinks, it already had the, the, the fillings in there already. Okay. So I added the boba. <laughs> so for the brown sugar milk tea, I'm going to have to give it... I'm going to have to give it four stars. Okay. Four stars. Like me. Only because I think it's too sweet for me. As I'm not saying it's not good. It's very good, but I feel like it's too sweet for me. It, if I can modify it, I think I would. I think if, you can modify yeah. it. They, they wouldn't tell you 50% if you can't modify it. Yeah. If it was, if I, I think if I got it a quarter sweet, I would give it five stars. But you're rating but, it out of the gate. Like if you order gate, it yeah. and then you don't tell them whatever it is yeah, and they just give it to you, however they made it originally, you give it four stars. Yes. Because it's too sweet. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And out for the panda. I'm going to try this again. Let me shake it up. I love the panda. I think this is my new favorite boba milk tea from Goncha. Hold on. I'm too busy chewing. For the panda. I'm going to give it five stars. Five stars because... It's very light. It's very refreshing. It's not as sweet as the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I think because um, I first drank it, maybe I didn't mix it so good. Maybe I got the, maybe the, the sugar settled in the bottom. I didn't really, but after mixing it a while, it was pretty good. It's not as sweet as I thought. I, I could still get it a little bit more sweeter. They added some kind of a clear jelly to it. Yeah. Um, five stars for the creativity. Mm -hmm. Very different. Nothing I ever tasted. Very light and refreshing, especially on this hot day. Definitely five stars Okay. for that one. The Earl Grey. Let me see. The Earl Grey. I definitely give it five stars. So. So overall, we can give the whole Goncha place five stars. I think. Overall. Yeah. I mean. The, the Earl Grey, very different, uh, very creative. We, you know, my cousins, multiple of them kept saying, get the Earl Grey with the 3J. We're like, what the heck is 3J? Yeah. Um, I think after, it stands for 3 Jelly. Yeah. After drinking and seeing that there's d different types of filling, yeah, it stands for the three different types of jelly. Yeah, because you got the boba, the, the grass jelly, and the milk pudding, I see. Yeah, the pudding. Yeah. So... So Very overall, good. it's a good experience. Um, I think, like I said, Goncha, definitely I have rockstar approval of the whole place. Um, yeah, I mean, for us trying multiple drinks and, and saying that they came out all pretty good, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's really good. Mine is not that big. Um, the drinks averages about four twenty five to about $5, depending on the size you get, yep. the add-ons. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, still good. Still good. And we went to we went to go get the concha at the little Tokyo uh, location. Yeah, that was right next door to Milk Plus Tea. Yeah. <laughs> now Milk Tea, uh, we did the review on the last video, and 
I gave it the Rockstar approval. The only problem we have, it's the price. We feel it's a bit pricey. Yeah. For boba milk tea. But this, I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah. Because if, I mean, this, I would say, is about the same quantity as the other boba places we've tried, um, including milk tea. And it only costs four twenty five to four seventy five. Yeah. So, I mean. It's a good price. And it's good. Yeah. It's, it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. It's definitely good. I, I think that's worth it. Like I said, it was. It's in the same location, same mm -hmm. area. You deal with the same, you know, um, other factors. But it tastes. If honestly, I think it even tastes better than milk tea. Yeah, I, I, I don't need to go back to milk tea. Not that it's not good, but this is a better price. And they had they add this little clear jelly t with the boba. That's it, different. It's different. It's different, but in a very, very good way. Um, but that's what all boba plays supposed to be, I think. I think they should all have their own little style mm -hmm. and, and, and technique that they, they make their boba to separate themselves. Because I wouldn't want to go to a place where they all taste the same. Exactly. But I can tell you that uh, where milk tea wins, mm -hmm. and, and it wins across the board when you're comparing it to seven leaves and everything I tasted, yeah. is the boba is way fresher. Yeah. Hands down. Yes. The boba and milk tea is way fresh. It is. It has a clean taste like a, if they just made it. Like if they just brew it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what do you, you say? Four stars, KK? Yes. Would you go to, would you go back to that place? No. You wouldn't go back? No. You don't like it that much? Um, I like it a little bit. W which place do you like? What's your favorite place? I think because of the panda. The panda? Yes. You don't like that flavor? I do. But you give it four stars. Yes. Is it too sugary? Too mm. sweet or is not sweet enough? Not sweet enough. It's not sweet enough. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. But you won't go, you wouldn't go back. No, no, no. So my little niece she ain't gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she gave it four stars, guys. She says she likes it, but she doesn't want to go back for some reason. No, 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 no. I'm actually shocked with Goncha. Yeah. The name kinda the name sounds kinda funky. To be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I don't know why. I just didn't think I was it's gonna like it. It's because you know why? I, I think for me it was the ambiance. It it just it just look I don't know, like a hole in the wall. No, the hole in the wall looked like milk tea because really? that place looked closed. Well, we didn't get to go in. But, we didn't get but, to go, but, but from the outside, yeah. Goncha looked more yeah. open than milk tea. Yeah. Milk tea looked straight up like it was shut down. Milk tea has a better name because Goncha is like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it doesn't sound sexy to me. It doesn't sound like a place like I would want to try, but don't be fooled by the name because they do a one hell of a job making milk tea and i and like i said i have no problems with going trial I, I i can see myself going there again uh i like the clear jelly mm -hmm. it's different good the service was good mm -hmm. right yes they also have a uh 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 when when the oh yeah stamp. they have like some kind of discount program i'm not really sure what it is um but they they use five star so five star i i think it's it's an application that links up with different um retail stores and when you register with that store um they give you some kind of discount so mm -hmm. for the time being we'll, we'll find out what it really is i don't really know maybe they'll, they'll have like a promotion where they'll send me a text and say hey we have a sale buy one get one free now my, or something my Who question knows? is this do you feel like you wasted money today no it's good i did not feel like i got ripped off like i did at milk tea sorry guys i'm really i'm still hurt about that ice cream guys yeah I'm still heard about that ice cream. They, I paid for a product that I didn't get. Oh, the cool thing about Goncha is that, um, you know, the menu had a lot. It, it didn't really tell you what was in it as far as the type of tea or the add-ons. Mm -hmm. But at least it had pictures. Yeah. So for me, I'm a visual person. Um, so if it looks good, I'm willing to try it. At least I have an idea of what I'm getting myself into by the presentation. And based on the presentation and how the drink came out, I think... You know, it's a clean taste. It's, it's very good. It's, it's very, very light. Good. It's very clean. It feels refreshed. Um, but I have to give milk tea the 
the win when it comes to the freshness of the boba. I have to give it the win. Yeah. But that's it. But the freshness of the boba, I mean... It's not life and death, right? It, even though... But you can appreciate it. Even though their boba is way fresher yeah. in milk tea. It's not enough for me to choose that over goncha, especially when they're literally next door. Yeah. So if we're in little Tokyo and you ask me, let's get boba, I'll definitely choose goncha. Yeah. yeah if you're in the definitely. downtown area, goncha wins. Goncha for Go, sure. Goncha wins. Uh, five bucks per drink-ish. Less than five bucks. Yeah. Which is still, like I said, same amount of quantity. Flavor just as good. Just as good. And the only difference is that you don't get a glass container, but yeah, just I as mean, good, just as good. Goncha surprised me. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually shocked. Yeah. Um, but I'm not surprised when yeah. people refer, and our cousins, you know, obviously they they drink a lot of boba too. So when it's good, it's good, and yeah. I'm not surprised they recommend it and they were strong with it. So yeah, yep. No complaints here. Five stars all across the board. Rockstar yeah. recommend it. And we can de- I can definitely see myself going back. Now I can say I have a place right down the street. I don't have to go all the way to Alhambra to get a milk tea. So that's a good. That's a win for me. Yep. Yep. So we're excited. All right. So I hope you guys like this episode. We have our guest, Kennedy. Yeah. She's going to start her YouTube career, right? Yes. So you get to work with uncle and auntie right now, right? Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye. Okay, we're signing off. Bye. Bye.